Hi guys and welcome to my first GT7 video and yeah, we are on our new track, new and old track, high speed rink. So we're doing super license for this one. So I just decided to share my lap with you because I think I did a pretty solid lap. So if you're struggling with this one, I hope I'll be able to help even a bit, you know, even the slightest bit. So, you know, let me know down in the comments if it helps and if you're liking uh, GT7, if you're liking my content. But yeah, as you can see right there in my friend's ranking, I was first, so 110.3. And yeah, that's about it. Without further ado, let's get going. Okay, let's get going with the track guide or time attack lap. Whatever you want to call it, I got the Aventador, pretty sketchy car. Uh, it quite, uh, it's quite easy to get to oversteer from it. And I'm moving the car up here, so very high up, up in 7th gear. And then when I see this point, so it's actually the transition from the marks on the left. So this is where I start turning in, but I don't lift yet. So as I get closer to the kind of, I would, I would call it a curb right there, but it's actually not the, the actual curb. So when I'm getting close to it, I lift a little bit and then I put the power down. So once again, 200 meter mark, but not exactly at the 200 meter mark. Just when you pass it, this is where I brake. Break straight. It's very, very important to break straight and later get on this uh, outside of this corner. So it's very important not to get early on it because you might get, uh, you know, a reduction of that grip and then, you know, it's completely it's gonna be completely impossible to stop and you're gonna hit the fence like I did before in my previous lap, but so yeah, I did it this one, so 100 meter sign right here. So break straight, I'm looking at the left, so actually when you see this transition, it's good, uh, it's kind of a good point where you can start turning in, but I'm reducing my break into about 50% and then I'm going for the later apex. I really don't know, I haven't really tried it out, so it might be even better just to go to early apex, but I mean, even here, you will see that I'm always getting to the late apex and aiming towards those markers. Yeah, those yellow markers are pretty useful. Getting off that 50% of the power and only when I straighten up the car, then I put the power down fully. So I held the counter steer a bit, but I think it was okay. Uh, moving the car completely to the left, as left as you possibly can, and then going for that late one. So actually you can see that yellow marker lifting a little bit once you reach the 100 meter sign, and it's very important to straighten up the car. So straighten up the car, at the 50 meter sign, you brake. If the car is going sideways and you brake, you're gonna lose control. So it's, so it's very, very important that the car is straightened up so you can get the full control of it. I'm looking at the marker right there. I'm kind of getting a little bit out of shape there. So when I see the marshals, I'm kind of trying to put the power down, but it's very hard with this car. So it really depends on situation and it really depends on the angle you take in, but you wanna take, I would say as wide as possible entry so you can get the best possible exit. And it was 110.3, I think it even get a little bit better, but this was my super license. Yeah, I've got, yeah, I got a lot of space to cover. So guys, if you like what you're seeing, you can even smash the like button, or you can even subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much for watching this, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.